All right, here are three study tips from three books that changed my entire perspective on studying all in three minutes. So one of my biggest regrets during med school and residency was not reading more books. Reading is how you quickly learn things that would have taken years to figure out on your own. But a lot of people don't do it, so let's change that. So the first tip comes from How to Be a Straight A Student by Cal Newport. So he says that work accomplished equals time spent times intensity. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. The amount of work you get done depends on how intensely you're working. Basically, the more focused you are, the faster you work and the less time you'll need to spend. It's like, duh. Everyone knows that, yet not everyone does it. I remember spending like four hour stretches of time in college trying to study, but I was also watching YouTube and also texting my friends and also checking my mobile game to see when those juicy coins were ready to be collected. So when I multitask, I usually end up not finishing my work or I'd completely forgotten what I'd learned because my brain wasn't focused and wasn't actively trying to retain the information. Working at 100% intensity, even for just one hour, is always better than working at 50% intensity for five hours. How much time you spend becomes almost irrelevant when you understand this. The second tip is from Atomic Habits by James Clear. He says, you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. What does that mean? Well, your goal is a desired outcome and your system is what you do to get there. Like if my desired goal is to get an A plus on my physics tests, then the system that gets me there is my study system, which is everything I do to prepare for that test. So like how I take notes, how I learn new concepts, how I take a test and even how much sleep I'm getting every night, right? Like that's my system. So James Clear points something out that totally changed my perspective. He said, every ambitious student has the same goal of getting an A in physics, but not every student gets the A because not every student has the same study system, which means the goal doesn't matter. It's all about the system. So instead of obsessing over reaching a goal, which is not entirely under your control anyway, you should focus on figuring out a good study system. The third book is Make It Stick by Peter Brown. He basically says you must seek challenge. And the term that he uses in the book is desired difficulties. There's a certain level of difficulty or like a sweet spot that you wanna be learning in. So for example, if you're a college student, you'd get really bored doing basic algebra. It's like too easy. But you'd also get really bored doing PhD level astrophysics, which is way too hard. We want it to be in the sweet spot. So then now you're thinking, hey, I'm in college and I'm taking college level classes theoretically at my sweet spot. Why is it still boring to me? Well, the problem now is that the way you're studying is not difficult enough. It's not challenging you. If your idea of studying is reading your notes over and over, that's super easy to do, right? No wonder you're falling asleep. But if you do something more challenging, like closing your notes and trying to recite your notes straight from memory, that's much harder to do. So your brain is going to work harder and that desired difficulty is going to make the information stick. So remember that sitting here listening to me talk is not going to change your life unless you actually put these ideas to use. So the next step is to ask yourself, am I actually studying with techniques that challenge me? And am I building a study system around these ideas? That's what this video here is all about. So check it out, hope it helps, and I'll see you next time.